Hello everybody, welcome to Shruti's Kitchen. Today let's make a yummy and flavorful, exotic, easy to make baby potato biryani. It's so simple as I mentioned. It's easy to put together. Let's run through the ingredients and start the recipe. For the baby potato biryani, you need 15 baby potatoes. I have peeled them. Peeling is optional, but my family, my husband especially, he prefers the peeled potatoes over the unpeeled ones. Three tablespoons of chopped cilantro, one big onion sliced, four green chilies slit, two tablespoons of chopped mint leaves, three quarter teaspoon of garam masala powder, half a tablespoon of garlic paste, quarter teaspoon of turmeric powder, salt, one teaspoon or add it to your taste, two tablespoons of clarified butter, ghee, or you can even use equal amount of oil or some butter, one small piece of cinnamon, two green cardamoms and three cloves, quarter cup of yogurt or curd, half a teaspoon of red chili powder and three quarter cup of rice. Make sure that you soak the rice, before that just wash it really nice and good, couple of times until the water runs nice and clear and then soak in fresh water for at least half an hour. My rice is good to go. I should say this is a simplified version of biryani because we are not using a lot of ingredients but the end result is going to be like so very good just trust me on this so I have here a white pan which is going on medium heat and make sure that use a pan which has a tight fitting lid because we are going to give it a dumb so I'm going to go ahead and add in some ghee in there ghee is nice and hot We'll add in the cinnamon stick, two cardamoms and three cloves. Give it about 30 seconds head start. I can see the cloves are nicely swollen. We'll add in the turmeric powder and the onions. We'll add in the green chilies as well. Sprinkle some salt. Need not cook the onions separately. We are going to caramelize the onions along with the potatoes. So just drop in the potatoes as well and we are going to cook them together. And we'll also dump in the ginger garlic paste. I'm going to add just a bit more of salt and we are going to cover this up and wait until the potatoes are perfectly done. They should be nice and soft and even the onions should be caramelized. So cover and cook for 10 minutes. So while the potatoes are getting done, I got here two liters of boiling water. We'll add in the soaked basmati rice. Drain the water from the basmati rice. Just add in the rice. We'll add in some salt. And we are going to continue to cook this until it's 80% done. Mix well and cook this for about 3-4 to four minutes. It doesn't take much time. The potatoes are nice and golden. This gives a nice flavor. This is how I want in the biryani. Slightly caramelized. I added the mint. We'll add in the garam masala powder, red chilli powder, yogurt, mix well. And we are going to cook this for 5 minutes. It's been about 5 minutes. As you can see the rice is perfectly done. We'll immediately take this out from the pan. Turn off the heat. So after cooking it for 5 minutes, just spread the potato mixture evenly. And if needed, you can even add in some water, just about 2-3 to three tablespoons. But mine has some moisture in there. This is perfect. I'm going to add in the 80% cooked basmati rice on top 
just like that we'll spread the rice evenly and reduce the flame to low medium we'll add in the cilantro i like a lot of it we'll cover this and simmer this on low medium for 10 minutes so it's been 10 minutes let's check this out wow the smelling divine let's give it a gentle mix it is looking lovely the potatoes are nicely roasted this is how you want it that's when it tastes wonderful look at that the charred marks that's a lovely flavor and we'll turn up the heat this is ready serve it hot look at that the biryani is like smelling amazing and is looking perfect the baby potatoes are nicely coated with the masalas so my flavorful baby potato biryani is ready it is smelling amazing let me taste it very 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 tasty it doesn't need anything any raita or anything tastes wonderful as such especially that baby potatoes are nicely roasted they are just perfect and they are nicely coated with the masalas so do try this biryani at your home and enjoy with your family for more such yummy recipes get subscribed to struti's kitchen i'll be back soon with another great recipe for you all till then take care bye